Hello and welcome to Transwest Truck Trailer RV. Surprise, I'm here again. I know you just saw me yesterday. Uh, I want to start off by congratulating Lindsay and Mark. They won uh, a gift card each yesterday for watching my video and responding to my trick question. Um, if you haven't seen the video, go back and check it out. It's on a pocket solace. Today I'm going to walk you through this 2022 Winnebago Forza. This is the 34T floor plan and it is stock number 5U211473. This is a used 2022, so if you're in the market for a, a new Forza, give me a call because you can get a really good deal on this used 22. I say used, lightly used, right? They only used it on one trip, I believe. We're going to start on the outside. Got a storage compartment here. For a 34 footer, this has a lot of storage underneath. We've got uh, turn signal cameras here. I'm going to make sure and point that out. All right, this has steel wheels. These are 22 and a half inch wheels with Michelin tires. The tires are 255, 80, 22 and a half inch. All right, right back here, we've got our fuel. This has fuel fill on both sides. And then we have an access panel for the hydraulics, for the hydraulic slides. As we work our way around here, you can see we've got our two awnings out with the lights on. Got nice LED strips on both of the awnings. Plenty of coverage. Now you can check out the pass-through storage we have on this Forza. Plenty of space, plenty of room to put long items that will go all the way across there both of these compartments. This is going to be your access panel for the refrigerator. You can see we're watching Rachel today, looks like. Down here in this compartment, you're going to have your uh, battery and inverter disconnect and some more storage. Okay, here we have our house batteries. We've got four house batteries. Down there you can see the particulate filter for your exhaust. This has a 340 horsepower Cummins. This back cap here up top, you can see we have a backup camera. And we have a seven pin connector down here with your two inch receiver. This receiver has a 500 pound hitch rating for vertical weight. That means you can't apply more than 500 pounds vertically on the hitch itself. This has the rear radiator, so I can't show you the uh, flux capacitor on this one. You have to call me on that one. As we work our way around the driver's side, you can see here we have our Truma AquaGo hot water system and then you're going to have your two chassis batteries your push button breakers got a 13 gallon def tank and then your 50 amp short cord Here's your wet bay with outdoor shower, hot and cold, full house water filtration system, and then you've got your black drain valve and your gray. Remember to always drain your black first, then your gray. Got a sewer hose in here that hasn't been used. And here are your fresh water inlets. So that's where you set up your city water. 
and then this is your flush in inlet, so that's where you would flush out your tank, and then your low point drains. Now we're gonna get to the back side of those two pass-through storages. We've got our propane tank, our water pump up top, and you can see there's the fresh tank up there. This has 84 gallons of fresh water capacity. Fifty-four gallons of gray and forty-eight gallons of black. Here are some more push-button breakers and a fuse box right here. Back over here under the slide, we're going to have our second fuel fill compartment. And actually, I got to show you where to open your generator slide. It's right here. Pull on that lever down here on the bottom, and that'll open. Uh, the front compartment for your generator. I like how Winnebago does their front slides. You can actually just pull on it. It's got struts. This has an Onen 6000 generator. If you see my other videos, I like this style because you don't have to be lifting the hood up while you're trying to find the latch. Here's your windshield washer fluid. Back in this right corner over here, under the driver's side are your air horns. Here, move the heck out of the way horns. All right, now we can go inside. We'll start with all these buttons here as you walk up the main entry. You're gonna see you have your coach battery disconnect, your chassis battery disconnect, your power step on and off, your awnings, awning power, and then these are gonna be your to auto level and store your jacks. Then you have your light switches here for your awnings as well. It's where you turn on the LED lights, and then you have your main master switches for your on and off switches for the, bat for the lights. All right, I wanna start up here on the front. I love the fireplace and TV location on this. A lot of coaches, you kind of have to turn to see the TV. Um, in this Forza, you don't. The fireplace is there for mood lighting. You got the TV. I set out a couple of their remotes. So you can see it does come with the remotes. Uh, the theater seating here comes with the table that you can move around. If you want to put uh, you know, snack here or something, you do have your cup holder here and a USB so you can easily set your phone down and plug it into charge while you're watching your favorite show. Up top here we've got our overhead bunk. It's just a push button. There's a ladder that's in the back closet I'll show you that clips onto here so you can climb up there and you've got your lights. Also some little pockets up there, some little cubbies so you can put your, your Kindle, your phone, whatever you want to put up there while you're taking a nap up there. We're going to go ahead and raise it so I don't hit my head on it when I go show you the front of the, the Forza here. Okay, as you can see, you've got the two captain's chairs. They do swivel around, so then once we swivel them, we've got a really nice living area here. You can have two folks there, two here. Uh, the kids on the, on the couch, you got plenty of room for a nice little living area. We got plenty of storage. This is actually where the remote's where I took them down from there, but that's a nice little spot because those aren't very deep. Okay, over the theater seats, you got two deep and uh, pass-through compartments here, two, two cabinets that go all the way through there so you can place long items. And then you got two more on this side. The booth dinette is really nice in the Forza. They give you a ton of storage. And I'll show you this one so you can see how much storage is under here. It's a good place to put your blankets, your linens, 
pots, pans. You got storage on both sides. This does convert into a bed. This pushes down and then you use your fillers there. So you have plenty of sleeping area with the bunk over the top. You got your sleeper dinette. All right, now we'll go into the kitchen area. Got a nice little island here uh, with a counter extension. You got a dual sink with solid surface countertops. Plenty of room to prep your food. Get all your meals done. Your midnight snack if you're like me. Under the sink, there's a lot of space for your cleaning supplies. You store your sink covers down there. And then you also have a ton of drawers on this one. Got four drawers and then three under the three burner stove that we have. This is a gas stove. And of course you have your convection oven for your popcorn. When it's time to watch a movie over the fireplace, if you want to bake a cake, you can do that in your convection oven. We've got a nice two-door refrigerator freezer. Plenty of, plenty of room for your groceries for a long trip. Here in the hallway, we're going to have our main control panel and our AquaGo hot water system on and off. This is where you would turn on your, you can set it on EcoBoost, just like the Ford Transit. You got that on off and you can actually clean it. So uh, there's eco mode, you can set it on the other one, it'll actually get it hotter, quicker. And then here's your control panel for your slides, your temperature, climate, your fans, all your lights, and all your power. Now going into the, this is a one bath model, this 34T. You can see we got plenty of storage overhead. Medicine, mag, medicine cabinet with two doors. In case you're wondering, this is not a fancy bidet. This is to clean the toilet out. You can push the pedal, the water will come out. You can flush out the toilet. Got a one sink. Again, plenty of room for your shaving supplies, toothbrushes. And then we've got really nice sized shower. Then you've got a full mirror there on the left side. You've got your how do you do mirror here? Make sure you're looking good before you go out on the campsite or out on the town. Washer dryer. These are Whirlpool washer dryer stackable. Easy to get your laundry done. Now going into the main bedroom here, you're gonna have a really nice size closet. Goes all the way through all four doors. Plenty of room to hang up your clothes. Here's the ladder for that front bunk and also memory, like a little foam pad for the mattress. Again, this is huge. Plenty of room for all your clothes. And then you got four drawers underneath here. Plenty of room. Got a queen size bed with the Freedom Air system, so it's you got a control for each side so you can set your firmness on each side. Got some nice overhead cabinets. There's an HDMI cable and a cable inlet up there. So if you want to set up a DVD player, Blu-ray player, and then you've got your TV right there. So when you're laying down and go to bed, you can watch your favorite shows. The other thing I like about this is the bed's a little smaller, so it's not a king size bed, but you do have a nightstand on both sides and they're decent size. Plenty of room. Set up your phone for charging. You got USB ports on both sides, uh, 110 outlets as well. 
and then you have an exit window back here. Hopefully you never have to use it, but if you need it, it's there. And then we have the pocket door, so I can say goodbye. Close it up, keep you away from the kids, or keep the kids away from you. All right, and now, I don't actually think I opened these up for you guys, so let me go ahead and do that. Another nice uh, storage compartment up here with adjustable shelf. You can actually move this, take it out if you have tall items. And then now we can go over the cab. So here is our backup camera. Huge display up here, plenty of, you can actually see what's back there. It's not a little tiny camera where you're trying to guess how far you are from somebody. It's a really nice camera. You got your air controls here. You've got some USBs down here and a 12 volt. And then a nice little cubby there to set something down on. Depends on how you drive. If you drive crazy, it wouldn't stay on there very long. Digital display and steering wheel controls. So this left side here will run our gauges and the right side here will actually, you can set your cruise, you can make your calls, hang up the calls. Uh, it's gonna be your backup arrow. You can work all of your gauges down here. Go to your vehicle configuration, set up your Bluetooth. There's a ton of things on this. Um, lots of good videos on that. I can also walk you through it if you wanna give me a shout. Up here on the left, you got your, your main light controls, your emergency or parking brake, I should say, down here. You've got your lights, your radio house. Auxiliary light. And then here you got your air horn. Turn it on before you honk at somebody so you can wake them up. I could probably wake up our producer if I hit the horn right now. I won't do that. Uh, battery boost, again, this is the battery boost. You would hold that down to fire up the coach if you left your lights on or draining the battery, et cetera, et cetera. Mirror controls here, your nightshade, heated mirrors, and then the generator's running right now. Not sure how well you can hear it. It's pretty quiet. And then you have your Lippert electronic leveling control right here. Super simple, easy access to everything. Right here is your shifter. So it's not a push button, Allison. They went to uh, the column style uh, back in 21, I believe. So this is you just, right now it's in neutral. Move it up for forward, uh, for drive, down for reverse. And then your engine brake is here as well on the shifter. All right, pretty simple. Again, I really like the Forza. I like the size of it for you first timers. This is a really good coach to get started with. And again, it's used, so you won't pay full price like you would on a, a new one. This is a good deal to, to be had. Um, let me get you my contact info. Keep an eye on the link. I may post, I may post something here uh, for another gift card. I know I said I wouldn't do that, but hey, I like giving stuff away. So keep an eye on the website, see if I post any questions. If I don't this time, I will next time. Feel free to give me a call, shoot me a text or an email. Si hablo español, me pueden hablar al 720-276-4241. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you in a week or two. Or maybe tomorrow, you never know. Take care.